Uh, you know, every year uh, kind of presents its own uh, challenges and you're trying to kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together. And, and even though we returned a lot of guys from last year, it's a, it's a totally different thing. Uh, by far, the hardest thing to do uh, in building our program is build depth, uh, where you have guys of quality coming off the bench. We've had good starters, we've had guys that have had all conference years, but we've never been able to build the depth that we have on this year's team. And so, uh, really excited about that. Uh, but that presents challenges, you know, uh, from competition and practice. Uh, typically, you're going to have a guy or two outside the rotation that could make a case to be in the rotation. And so uh, we got to develop our chemistry uh, and be a tight knit group as a team. But then also it's time to go produce, you know. And so practices preseason is different than when the lights come on. And so there's kind of a uh, there's a fun expectation for what's coming up next, you know. And you kind of know what to expect out of the veterans. Uh, but then now you're going to have adding in some young guys and some guys that haven't played with lights on. And now you want to see what they're going to do and what it all looks like together. Well, it always starts at the top with our seniors and uh, William Powell, uh, who has had uh, two, two or three uh, really, really good years for us. He's, uh, he's a senior now and uh, he's poised to uh, finish out the way that he came in. He's the glue of what we do uh, from a defensive and a rebounding standpoint, from a scoring standpoint of, of making our offense run efficiently. Uh, he kind of has his fingerprints on everything that we do uh, basketball-wise. And so I look forward to him kind of expanding his role number-wise, but really uh, just continuing to do what he's always done for us. He's been the heart and soul of our team for the last two years. And then Brendan Westendorf, who was all conference last year, he'll continue to improve in his scoring and his all-around playmaking ability. But again, he's another one of those guys that <laughs> almost like a five-tool guy in basketball, if you called him that where he's led us in scoring, he's one of the tops in rebounding, he led us in steals, he's led us in assists, he shoots a high percentage from the three, high percentage from the free throw line, and so uh, really looking forward to him just kind of maximizing everything he's done and just getting better at everything. And so uh, those two guys lead the way with Emmanuel Chibagwe following right behind. He's been a really uh, contrib a good contributor for us uh, throughout his years as well. And like I said, we got some young kids that are ready to step up. Uh, Aaron Menzies down low. Uh, gives us a, uh, a really unique inside presence that teams are going to have to uh, pay attention to and focus on and really gives us great inside out balance and then we're going to have some younger guys that are going to kind of evolve as the year goes on um, some freshmen that'll be in the mix uh, Morgan Means is a guard that is, uh, is really shown early in preseason to be a really good distributor be able to make plays for himself and for others and then Scott Ulano um, has done a good job off the bench for us uh, he can stretch the floor and knock down the three, he rebounds, he's active. Um, so it's, it's going to be good. The ingredients don't change. Uh, you're always searching for, for chemistry uh, and for uh, rhythm and flow together in your rotation. Uh, like I said, we just haven't been as talented in the past with this many guys uh, that can come in and really contribute and, and maybe get 20 in a night. Uh, we just hadn't had that. It's, it's, it's really... Uh, impressed upon ourselves to really come together and, and, and have great chemistry from beginning to end. Uh, it starts with role definition by myself, but then it, start, it goes to role acceptance by the players that are going to be in those roles. And so I think we got a good group, though, that will understand that. Uh, we'll all put winning above everything that we're doing. So our, our main goal is always to, uh, to, get, to get better each and every game that we play uh, and maximize our potential by being the best that we can be as a team. And a lot of times when you first start off, you don't know what that is. You think you got an idea of what it looks like, but you don't know. And so it's really uh, indicative of us that we need to, uh, to be ready to go right from the gate and just continuing to get better and improve and just work and improve and work. And it sounds kind of mundane in some ways, but that really is a formula to being good uh, in March. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. In the preseason, you take those games and you use them to kind of find yourself. Uh, while you're really impressing upon them your identity. Our identity never changes from a defensive, rebounding mentality, being aggressive, uh, taking care of the ball, making sure you get good shots. Uh, the foundation of how you want to play doesn't change. But guys are learning how to do that and how to do it with others. You know, and so uh, that takes time. You know, no team, whether they have a great record or a bad record or in the middle, 
is a finished product in November. You know, I think uh, our culture and who we are, that hadn't changed. Uh, we've always been one of the best defensive teams in the league. Uh, we've always been one of the best rebounding teams. Uh, we're physical. Uh, we execute offensively. Uh, we're hard out, you know, every each and every game, regardless of who we're playing. Uh, very rarely do we beat ourselves. Uh, we, we, we put it on the opponent to have to beat us. Um, so those things won't change. Now, I think what will be a little bit unique about this squad is I think we got a little bit more offensive firepower. And so um, typically <laughs> when you have that, now you got to get back and make sure you don't lose your defense <laughs> and your rebounding. Uh, but I think we'll improve as the year goes on defensively. Uh, may not start off as great as we would normally like to, but I think offensively we'll be a little bit of a, ahead of the game. Uh, and as guys settle in, uh, I think we're going to be pretty good offensively, you know, really being able to shoot the ball, but then also having that element of going inside and out. And then having two guys, uh, Powell and Westendorf, that can finish the game for us, you know. So uh, I think that's going to be something that's going to be fun for all of us to see. I think the product that we're going to put out on the floor is something that people are going to continue to be proud of. Uh, I think you'll see, too, the, the, the fruit of all of the development, you know, all of the, the, the kind of behind the scenes years of guys working their tails off and getting better. Uh, you're going to see that, you know, and so I think as a whole, people will come out and appreciate that.